I'm just going to go through a few things about um, using chat GPT um, and in particular the, the GPTs feature in, in chat GPT. Uh, but before that, I, I just want to point out that um, there is a feature, uh, an important feature in my view, uh, called custom instructions. Now, um, I think it's important that this is set up um, because it will influence the, the kind of output uh, that you will get uh, both from chat GPT and from the GPTs. So it can uh, adjust itself to, to, to who you are and, and what you want to, to get out of this uh, system. So in this first section, um, it's just about yourself. So just basically write about yourself, about, about who you are, um, what your interests are, a bit of your background, things like that. The next uh, section, how would you like GPT, chat GPT to respond, this is also pretty important. Um, and I would suggest that um, you perhaps copy or, or do something similar to what I've done here. It's basically just telling ChatGPT how you want it to, to output, how do you want it to respond. Like I tell it things like, you know, not, not to be too American in the responses, to, to use British English, and to, to not get too enthusiastic whenever it, uh, it responds to a, to a question, and various other basic, basic things that I want it to do or not to do. So that's, uh, that's the, the setup. Um, let's have a quick look at settings. I mean, uh, there's not a lot here, I think. There's beta features, not really important. Chat history, not too important. Um, build a profile. Now, this is actually important for when you're going to set up your GPTs. Um, and it, it does require um, ownership of some sort, and it, and it uses the ownership from from the from the credit card that was used to pay for for the service. So in this case, you'll see that uh, this is clearly not my name, but that's the name of the person who's paying for my paid account. So unfortunately, you can't change that; it will just uh, default to that to that name. The other important thing, if you've got it, is, is a website. And uh, it will require that you um, validate that, that uh, the website that you nominate. So these are important things to do before you actually start um, building GPTs. Make sure you've got a paid account with a name there, because that name will appear on the GPT. And if you can, a website. No, that's not essential, but uh, uh, if you've got it, uh, try and use it. Okay, so let's get into GPTs. You'll see here there's, a, there's an option for explore GPTs. We'll just click that. And this is the opening screen for exploring GPTs. Now, it has, there's a lot of um, GPTs already here. Um, some might be useful, most aren't. Some are pretty trite. You'll just have to explore for yourself and see what works. But uh, just keep in mind that these things are still very much in the, uh, the development stage, so I wouldn't expect too much from them. But anyway, let's go to, to my GPTs. And these are the GPTs that, that I have created. Obviously, you can create a new one from here, uh, but these are the ones that I've already set up. So. This one here, doing business in Indonesia, uh, that is just uh, comprises a whole lot of uh, information from from Okusi Associates uh, related to doing business in Indonesia. My this other one, V Gary Dean, that's my virtual Gary, the Gary Dean. That's still obviously a work in progress, um, and uh, it's not publicly available. And this one here, Secular Dharmas, that's the one I work on the most. Um, and, and this, yeah, um, yeah. well, I, I guess we'll just have a look at it. This one is public. 
So we'll just edit this one just so I can show you what, uh, what the internals look like before we go and create a new one. So this is how it uh, comes up, um, comes up in, into configure mode. There is also a create mode, and you can actually use this to, to automatically um, reconfigure the, the GPT. I have not found this to be particularly successful, uh, but maybe I need to, to play with it some more. For the most part, I just use the configure, which is uh, simpler. So you, know, you can do things. The first thing you can do is, is uh, upload a, an icon, or you can get Dali to actually create one for you. Uh, give it a name, a topic name for, for the GPT. A brief description. This brief description will actually appear uh, in, in the, uh, the GPT when you open it. And then we've got here, we've got instructions. So this is uh, where you tell the, the GPT what it, what it exists for. So what I do here is just tell it, to, you know, this is, um, let's make this a bit bigger. Um, it just basically tells it what, what it has to do and what it is. You can sort of uh, read through here. This is how that, uh, this is how I want this particular GPT to, to act and respond. I've also included some, some conversation starters. Um, But uh, these can also be included in, in the configuration section. So this is like a, a prompt that tells that sets up the the GPT every time a, a a question is asked. This prompt is also executed before the question. Okay, the next one you've got is conversation starters, and you can just sort of edit these directly. Um, now, I would put at least four of these in, but you can put as many as you want. But uh, there will only be four. Will, only four will be displayed at any one time. The next section is knowledge. Now, this is the most important part of the setting up a GPT, giving it its knowledge base. And this is should be mostly comprised of text. In fact, all of it's comprised of text, either in the in the form of text files or or PDFs. I usually find text is is the best. Uh, Thing to use. I also use some JSON, but I'm not sure how uh, successful that is. In actual, yeah, I'm not sure that that's a, a good way to, to use JSON. I think I might actually at some point convert those into text files. So, using upload files, you just uh, you know, choose whatever files you want to to upload your text files, and it will do that. Now, now there are limitations on how big these files are and how many files you can upload. This does change. When I first started out, the limit was, um, you had a limit of 10 files and each file could only be 10, 10 megabytes. Um, but since then, obviously the number of files here is, is more than 10. Um, so they may have changed the parameters. And uh, I, it could be that you can upload more than 10 megabytes now, but I think it's probably best to keep it under 10 megs for each file. Then you've got capabilities. Um, this depends on what you want to do with it. If you want to, to you know, do things like image generation or, or if it's got some you know, data analysis or stuff that's involved with that, then you, know, you can use uh, Code Interpreter and, and Dali. This particular GPT, I don't think really calls for any image generation or, or code interpretation. I include the, the web browsing just in case it has to run out and uh, find something that's uh, in, in response to a question that can't answer. Uh, so you could include that if you wanted to. Other than that, all these actions, I wouldn't uh, get into that. Um, it's a bit, bit more advanced and probably unnecessary for most cases. So really that the most important thing you need to think about going back at the top is, yeah, the topic, what it is you want this GPT to do, uh, a, a brief description of, of, the, of the GPT, the instructions, uh, which is, Quite important. What what you want the, the prompt uh, that's going to be used by the GPT to tell it what to do. A few conversation starters and the knowledge base. So that that really is 
what you need. So, so I guess that the most important thing here is, well, what, what does this knowledge actually look like? Now, obviously, you can have, you know, if you've got some PDFs that already um, that are relevant to your GPT, then obviously you can, you can upload those directly. Um, I find it more useful to create uh, text files and then aggregate those text files into one uh, into one file. So this is just one example of, of a um, of some of the, the information that I've uh, uploaded. This is a this Enzelganger is um, a YouTube channel. I've downloaded uh, all of his um, um, all of his YouTube videos. I've made transcripts of all of them, which have been uh, which have created these um, VTT files. And these VTT files have been further processed and uh, aggregated into to one text file. Called uh, this, and as you can see, it's um, 2.1 megabytes in size, and all these uh, transcripts are being aggregated into into that one file. So we can just have a quick look at that. And uh, basically, this is just all of those um, transcripts aggregated together into into one one text file. So, where is it? So I'll just try uploading this now. As you can see, it's um, uploading now. It might take a little while. Okay, that's been uploaded. It's as you can see now, uh, it's got this unpublished changes at the top. So you then need to update it. So at this point, you can determine whether it's going to be only for you or for anybody who's given the link, or if you want to make it public. You can give it a category. In this case, I've given it a category of lifestyle because that's really about all I could choose. And then confirm. And this will take a few minutes. Okay, so that's finished. And you can see here now it says view GPT. Now you can view it straight away or you can keep on editing. Uh, we'll just view GPT straight away. And so now we've added that uh, that new textual information from that uh, from the transcripts of that uh, uh, YouTube channel, and that will be incorporated into the knowledge base of this secular Dharma's GPT. So I'll just try this uh, first question here. That one of these suggested questions, as you can see, only four of them. It's a bit bigger. Only four of them are on the screen. Just try the first one. And it will take some time. Open AI is a bit sluggish recently. Now, so this is, uh, this is the response. Now you obviously can ask your own questions. The first question that I usually ask is what questions should I be asking?
Okay, so I've given a few questions here. Some are better than others. And, and that is basically it. That is that is how you can set up a, a GPT. Um, just a Let's try one of these questions. Number Okay, so I'm not sure how good that response is, but it's, uh, that's the response that we've got uh, based on the, 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 the knowledge that we've got uh, within our TPT at the moment. 